So uh, first thing that I would do is I create a new license in uh, Manage Products of the Business Studio. Let's call it uh, uh, Detachable One. Um, now before doing so, one thing that is important obviously is to have it uh, SL or SL and, and HL, but uh, SL obviously is, uh, is something that it is important. Um, and then what we do is uh, I will uh, add some feature doesn't matter so so much let's take uh, maybe 42 uh, and define it uh, when talking about detachable license it must be uh, concurrencies which means license which will be used uh, by several different users and now when I when this uh, checkbox is clicked then I have the option to allow detaching uh, by default as you can see um, it's uh, it's not uh, it's not checked which means it would not be uh, a detachable license by default let's have um, let's say 10 uh, concurrent licenses uh, for this one uh, what else do we need? Uh, that's it. Okay, so we have this product. And now I will create an order. The order will be, of course, a type of uh, HASP update. Uh, the license, I have it on my machine. Let's go to the Admin Control Center and see what we have here. We have an SL key with several products. Uh, all of the products uh, are local only, they cannot be used uh, by other uh, user from others machine. Uh, so I would like to add the product to this SL key which resides on my machine. Let's, let's just take uh, the uh, key ID because since I'm uh, making an update license I want to uh, put here uh, the number of HASP ID which exists on my machine and now let's add the new product which I called it detachable one uh, and then let's produce in order to create a V2C that when applied it will create uh, the new product so let's put it uh, in the desktop and generate the file. Okay. So let's see um, this one. Okay. I will update. Done. Now let's go back to the admin control center and look at the products that I have. Now I have uh, the product detachable one. Uh, this uh, mark says that it is a detachable one yes uh, and I could go to the features of it and I can see that this feature is also a detachable one uh, as a matter of fact when talking about detachable we're talking about a product that it is uh, det detachable uh, and now we will see now in order for this machine to be able to use this product uh, as a detachable one it's not enough just to install it I have to define it uh, the ACC here in, on this machine that I'm able to use with detachable licenses by default it is not checked where, where is the definition of uh, this ACC whether I can work with detachable it's uh, under configuration we have a special tab detachable license and over here I say yes I enable working with detachable license I can uh, change here uh, how many detachable uh, are going to be reserved uh, let's say for instance I want uh, two uh, licenses uh, to be reserved that uh, any case there won't, there won't be any situation where I left I'm left with no licenses at all or something like this I can also uh, define what is the the maximum duration that I uh, allow to 
to detach to take the outside uh, the license from this machine and I think that's enough uh, I don't forget to click on submit because otherwise uh, uh, the settings the new settings will not take place so let's get back now to uh, now we see this mark once again that it says it is a detachable but not all the SL key if I go to the products I see that only uh, this one is detachable and now after setting the ACC um, with configuration that it is detachable then I have this option to detach uh, let's uh, let's have a try now suppose that I want to detach a license which means to take uh, I see that I have, have available eight eight detachable licenses why eight because in the beginning there were ten and I um, defined as two must stay all the time uh, in this machine I'm not going to uh, give up with these two so uh, only eight are available now let's suppose that I want to detach to take out one license from this machine so I click on detach and then I have to say where is the machine that I would like to, uh, to uh, attach the license to now I will do. Uh, I will use my the same machine, my machine. This is my machine, uh, not only to take out the license, but also to attach uh, the new license. Uh, but obviously, uh, there is an option to choose here other machines that exist uh, in the system uh, when you are connected. Um, so. What I do is, let's say, I specify expiration date, uh, day four, month two. Uh, let's do it uh, until the tenth, let's say. So I detach. Now, the detaching process is successful, but it didn't do anything. It just created a file that I will save it uh, in the desktop. Let's see it. This file is called H2R. H2R stands for host to recipient. So that means that this is the file that I'm going to send uh, to the person who wants the new license. He wants to fly abroad with this license or maybe he's already in a, abroad with his laptop and he would like me to send to him uh, the license in order to uh, have a license over here on his laptop. 